All right, we'll continue this morning with the Sylvania Rams and uh, Coach Tyler Van. Uh, good morning, guys. Thanks for coming to Media Day today. It's good to see you again. And, uh, Coach, I'll either let you introduce the guys or them introduce themselves. Or, and then if you'd make some opening comments about uh, the season for the Rams coming up. All right. Well, I appreciate, again, all you guys do um, putting together Media Days and, and really putting our guys out there, our student athletes. But I'll introduce our guys first, starting on the far Left for you guys is Zach Anderson, number five. Um, he's been voted captain. Three of the guys up here, that's the reason they're here today is because they've been voted captain by their team. Um, rough year last year for five. He got hurt week two against Piedmont, um, torn labrum in, we, in his shoulder. So we missed him all the way through, all the way through the semis. And he was a big part of our football team. But I thought our guys did a really good job of competing after his injury. Uh, number 21, uh, Leo Kirby, played Mike linebacker for us. Um, also does a really good job of getting the call defense, getting the strength. He don't play Mike anymore, moved into Will. Um, but he still makes all the calls, all right, because our, our Mike's a younger guy. Um, Jackson Smith played quarterback for us, uh, does a really good job getting a play in. Uh, he was more of a game manager last year. We're hoping to take another step this year and, and make more plays in the past game. He's had a really good offseason, so I've been really proud of him. Uh, and then Ashton Cooley, number 51, was an All-State DEM for us last year. Uh, also plays right guard. I'm really proud of his his effort this offseason. Proud of all of them, but he's went from 205 playing at 205, 206 last year. To he's going to play at about 217, 218 this year. So we're excited about what he's going to do um, for us and our football team. Uh, overall, really, really excited about this football season. I have 11 seniors on the football team. Um, a lot of them play a lot of meaningful minutes. Um, you know, this is a special group to me. They've been here since I've been here. Uh, you know, they were sophomores when I got here. I've uh, been with them for three years. I've watched them grow, watched them gain weight. Uh, they have the right mindset. They want to be great. They just don't want to be good. Uh, they come in every day with the right mindset. Um, you know, when, when I first got there, we was preaching little things and leaving your locker and doing things the right way. Well, these guys, they've done that. Um, and they've taught the younger guys. And, and I, that's the culture we're building. And so I'm really excited for the future of our football program and the culture that, that these guys are building right here and that they've helped build to this point. Um, so we really are excited. You know, last year we're, we're not happy by any means with what took place last year. We had some uh, difficult losses. We've also had some big time wins. Um, but nonetheless, we learned from everything that happened last year, from the wins, from the losses, from the bad plays, from the good plays, we've learned. Um, and we, we don't want to just make runs. We want to make it to the end. And to do that takes work every day. And these guys are ready to work every single day. And that's why I love this group. We're just worried about winning the day that, that's at hand. And that's what they do. And so we're excited. And uh, again, we appreciate what y'all do for, for our student athletes. Coach, third year at Sylvania. Eight wins first year, ten wins last year. The expectation level is raised. And I know uh, that was a challenge, and you're ready to meet the challenge. Talk about that. Talk about the strengths you think you'll, of this football team this year. Yeah, expectations are high. Um, you know, our, our guys want expectations. They want to be um, a team to beat. But we don't look at it like that. We look at it we're game by game. You look at our schedule. I didn't even give you an outlook. But our, we play one of the toughest schedules I think in North Alabama, even if you put our non-region schedule up to anybody else's non-region schedule, it's pretty good. We have Sachs, Pisgah, and Fife on our non-region. But then you look at our region; it's a bunch of really good football teams with really good coaching staffs. I mean, there's not a there's not a week off um, in our region. Like you have to prepare the right way every day. That makes us better. That makes this team better because they prepare the right way every day. Um, we don't we don't look ahead, um, and I think that's. We, we want expectations, but but our guys, um, they expect to meet those expectations. And uh, what was the end of that question? Um, about the strength of this team. Oh, uh, I think up front is is where where our strength lies. You know, we have really – not saying we don't have good skill guys. We do. We have uh, pretty good skill guys, and they work hard. But um, the strength of our teams in the front, you know, we're older. We have five O-linemen, um, three of the, four of them are seniors. Um, we're senior heavy up front on the D-line as well. Um, and we rely on them guys up front. And we went to a bunch of seven on sevens this year, and we, we play with skills. And I, I always told our guys, we left the best part of our team at the house. So, uh, but we, they, they still competed. But uh, I think our strength's going to be up front in the trenches. This question's for the guys. Uh, I was at the Etowah County Media Days a couple of days ago. Of course, Westbrook, Glencoe, both. Y'all have the bullseye on your chest. They're, they spoke of y'all highly. 
Uh, what is it? How are the expectations for you guys? Because you're not the underdog anymore. You're one of the favorites. You know, do you feel like you've got to raise that level of play? Start with you, Zach. No. Well, it's the same every week. We just go out there and work, work every day. Go out there, same as every other week, no matter who we're playing. I feel well, like I feel like that we're like we're almost there, but we're like I'm, we're trying to be like the fives of the of the county, and I feel like we're almost there, but we're not there yet. I feel like we're all or we're one step away from being like the fives. Um, I feel like those games are just about like keeping a level head and going in there with the same mindset every time and not changing anything. And then as long as you do that, you'll be fine. Yeah, we can't we can't get too cocky. We gotta stay humble and just go out there and play our best game. Coach, we touched on this in your interview or one on one we did with you. How special it was to host that game last year in the third round, first of all. Mm-hmm. And then secondly, um, what did you learn from that next week at Piedmont? I know you're the type of guy that learns, uh, mm-hmm. even in defeat, you learn something about yourself. Just if you could put those into words. Yeah, it was special hosting uh, Geraldine, third round at home, DeKalb County matchup. Speaks a lot about DeKalb County football, a lot about North Alabama football, um, and how we compete and how we play physical football. Because it's not like we're relying on four or five speed or four, four, four speed every week. We rely on being physical and moving the football the right way. Um, it's like I tell our guys all the time, we may be on a spread offense, but we, we want to be physical up front and move the football. Um, and we wasn't spread last year. It was more 11 personnel, 12 personnel. But nonetheless, uh, just being physical, and it was uh, it was great to have that DeKalb County matchup. You know, last year third round, it, the place was packed. It's the first time I've you know I've only been there a couple of years, but first time I've seen it that way, and I'm sure first time they've seen it that way in a long time. It was packed, and it was a, a great environment to play in front of. But speaking about Piedmont, um, that was a tough loss, um, and I thought we competed well. Um, I was not disappointed at all in the way we competed and played in the game. We didn't quit. You know, it, it got bad in the third and fourth quarter, but we continue to play football. Um, but we, we just we still wasn't there yet, strength and conditioning wise. We still wasn't there yet. Um, definitely strength wise up front. You know, and we none, we had some issues up front. We were dealing with things, but there's, there's no excuse. We just we, we wasn't ready for that game. And um, just learning and making some changes strength and conditioning wise with, with how we stretch and um, yeah, trying to prevent more injuries than we dealt with last year. Um, at the same time, just game planning for me. Uh, I'd, I'd, I didn't have the, the team in the best position as far as offensively, um, play-wise. Uh, and what we saw, I always try to have an answer for everything on Friday, and there was, there was times I didn't have an answer. Um, and so it was just watching film and trying to become a better play caller. And then defensively, it seemed like Jack Hayes and, and Coach Smith had an answer for everything we did, which he's really good. Jack Hayes is really good. And, um, you know, so it was a really good football t- football game, um, but against a really good football team and a really good football coach. So, yeah, I was able to learn a lot and, and enjoyed uh, everything but the defeat. So, Coach, back here in the back, first of all, good to see you again. Uh, congratulations. I know we're a few months removed, but congratulations on the birth of your son. Appreciate Kai. you. Uh, second of all, to kind of piggyback off what Bo asked you, could you talk about the experience of getting that extra month in that postseason last year? I, I know that the practices are not as wide open as what they are at the start of the season, but could you talk about the experience and what you take from going four deep into the off season and how that's going to translate, you hope, into this season? All right, yeah, that's a, we, that's a lot. That's a, another half of the season we got to play last year, thankfully. And a lot of young guys getting a lot of reps last year, especially if you look, um, we dealt with a lot of injuries last year. And I think it's helped us a lot this year. You know, we, we can rely on a bunch of different guys throughout the year. If, if there's an injury, we're more prepared this year than we was last year. It's not even close because of the amount of freshmen and sophomore we had to rely on in certain positions last year due to injury. Um, but having that extra four weeks was big for our guys. First off, they got the experience playing in the semifinals. They got the experience playing in the, the third round, um, which is helpful this year. You know, there's nothing new. We want to we do the same thing. We just want to make it a game further and find a way to win that, that one more game, you know. And so uh, I'm really proud of our guys, and, and I think it's going to help us going forward this year and hopefully over the next few. Um, for Zach, obviously you were hurt last year. What does it mean to be able to come back, you know, and strong, hopefully stronger this season? Uh, it means everything. Football is like the 
my favorite thing to do. So I'm I'm a workout twice a day to make sure I'm ready for anything that they throw at me. Uh, my question is, do you also, also with that kind of haircut, you have to drive an IROC Z28, correct? No, I drive a Lexus LS400 1995, and it's loud. <laughs> you're, you're really missing the boat. You need an IROC with two tops. <laughs> Uh, Coach, you kind of alluded to your schedule and the coaching. Uh, you know, you're in a tough region. You, you sit there, you open with Sachs and Piedmont and Ohatchee and Geraldine before you get to Pisgah. I mean, you're loaded. You're loaded the front half and loaded in the back half. Uh, just talk about just how tough that region is week, out, week in and week out in the grind there. It's tough. I think that has a lot to do with uh, uh, some injuries we dealt with last year, just being physical week in, week out. Um, you know, and it's a lot to do with probably Coach Van's practice scheduling and how much contact we have in a week. And I need to do a better job of uh, planning something I've looked at a lot this past year. But it's tough, man. It's tough on our players. You know, you have to be locked in week in, week out. You don't have uh, opportunity to go into a game. You shouldn't ever go into a game and think you haven't won, but you for sure in our schedule should never think that you have a game won um, because the, every every team we play is fiscal. Every team we play is prepared the right way. Um, we don't go into a matchup and, and we're just going to out-scheme them and, and just win a football game because every, every team we play, like I said, has a really good coaching staff. You have to prepare the right way. Um, and it makes it tough, and but but it it also on the on the other hand, uh, it's very encouraging, and it should want you to be better, and our guys want to be better, and uh, they work hard, and and we're excited. We'll wrap it up with the guys this morning. How special, guys, that it is for you to sit there today in front of the media with that green jersey on, representing the Sylvania Rams. How how special is that for each one of you? It really means a lot because, like you said earlier, it's teammates that picked us to be here and other coaches look at us as leaders. and they're, We're the ones that they look for when they need someone. It's really cool because I used to I, – actually, I used to watch, like, all of them from, like, freshman up. And it's cool to, like, now look and see that I'm up here. Um, I think it means a lot because you've – like, I've grown up with all these guys and being able to play with them, like, from our last year, it just – it really brings it home. Yeah, like Leo said, uh, I voted for him and Ashton to be the captains, and I think it's really cool to be up here with both of them. Well, guys, it's great to have you today. Uh, good luck uh, to the Sylvania Rams this year. Have a great season, and uh, thanks for being here today. Appreciate you all.